hard, quite a bit harder. You think they start you off a bit easier a second mission, but they don't. But it's doable. The bastard of Orléans, overseer of the city that bears his name, finally receives his opportunity to meet with Joan of Arc. There, Joan of Arc, Jean de Metz, and the bastard begin their planning to turn the tide of war in favor of the French. With the English forces constantly threatening to besiege the city of Orléans, the three commanders agree to launch an initiative to clear the pathways leading towards the southern Loire region of France. However, unbeknownst to them, the enemy already had other plans in mind. The English swiftly advanced into the Loire Valley. Orléans was their objective, as it was one of the key strategic fortified cities on the Loire River and a formidable bastion of Valois cause. The town was, in effect, a bridgehead to the Loire Valley. Losing Orléans would certainly mean the loss of the Loire River Basin, and this would surely spell doom for all future endeavors carried out by the French. Therefore, this action on the part of the English aggressors must be stopped. Okay, now we've got uh, that background, we can uh, now go on to uh, continue mission two. Just looking at the map there, different areas and towns. The red towns are enemy occupied, <sighs> the blue are um, areas, allied areas. So yeah, this is the um, this is where we meet the bastard of uh, all the arms uh, the first time. Uh, but before we do that, we're gonna do a couple of things. Uh, just sort of moving around and stuff, uh, getting stuff out of boxes, you know, how many power stuff and. Uh, Apples to, uh, to boost the um, energy um, meter so that we can do the attacks. The attacks are probably more useful than the A attacks, but uh, A attacks work better with the bosses in this game because they tend to block the B attacks even though you can get hit by um, their B attacks, which isn't very fair really, but uh, there you go, it's not very uh, fair I suppose sometimes, sometimes games aren't. And these people here, the um, armourer and the uh, baker, they look the same in each of the little villages or settlements or whatever you want to call them uh, but they have different names so obviously they've used the same model uh, to they've recycled the same model in each of the towns which is a bit annoying to be honest we'll be buying that uh, armour uh, later on uh, but it's more important that we buy health provisions uh, in this part of the game but as we get more money we'll be able to uh, buy and upgrade on armour and stuff like that yes and as I said this game like a lot of games recycled so, uh, like I didn't like it how um, in Neverwinter Nights they sort of recycled the portraits. Um, it's like, oh, um, 
you know, uh, they have the voices and portraits for unique people and then they use those same portraits as just someone who's not uh, that important. It kind of ruins the effect for me because, um, you know, everyone should have a unique portrait, you know, if they wanted something generic, they should have just sort of not created a portrait of who you're talking to, you know, and just created sort of like a shadowy outline for a portrait, you know, in the shape of a, uh, a silhouette, like in the shape of a man or woman, going into the sex of the person who you're talking to. I really think it's lazy on the um, part of the developers that, you know, that a lot of things get recycled, you know, music, uh, character models. It makes, for me, it makes the whole um, uh, experience of some games a little less authentic because well there, there are people in the world who look similar you wouldn't find that they're actually carbon copies of each other and they look exactly the same like um, some of the recycled uh, stuff in games does yeah so they basically weighed around getting the health um, items because we're going to need them for the next bits in the game um, and I'm probably will um, uh, show you an outtake of this um, this um, mission uh, as I said before uh, how ridiculous it is I'm very hard in this mission, and you, part of this mission, you have to um, protect uh, the sister sons in Orleans, and uh, there's about 18 of them, and if they all die, you lose the mission. And that's actually what we're going to be doing next, saving those people. Uh, yeah, so if you um, let all of them die, you lose the mission. Um, but in very hard, I, I changed the the settings, uh, the difficulty settings. Um, to see, you know, what the different difficulties like, and I tried very hard for a laugh, um, even though I wasn't going to. Um, try to complete the game on that uh, and it's pretty horrendous I don't know if it's actually possible to complete the game on very hard it, 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 it's the game's uh, is a challenge on just easy so I think that's very hard uh, what I've seen of it anyway it's ridiculously hard it's like you'd almost have to be um, a computer really sort of like a super computer sort of to move as quickly and just sort of perform as quickly um, to beat the game on that level. So it is, it's just ridiculous. And in this uh, long play, I want to um, uh, complete the game, obviously, so very hard. It's a bit out of the question because, like I said, Come on! There's a country to be saved! It's just <laughs> ridiculous. It, it's good for a laugh, but. Um, Apart from that, it's just, so if you've got this game and you're going through it, you just, 
do a favour and don't put yourself out on the uh, hardest difficulty because you've had a really hard time of getting past the 